All right, this is the Algebra 2 practice ELC question number 18, and it asks us, what is the value of the summation of 15 minus 4n? Well, kind of the way that you look at this is this number here on the bottom, the n equals 3, that's where you're supposed to start, okay? And the number on the top, 8, that's exactly where we're supposed to finish, okay? So again, this is a summation, so we're plugging in all the numbers starting at 3 going all the way up to 8 into this formula here. So we have to plug in 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Because again, that's where we're supposed to stop. Start at 3, stop at 8. And we plug those numbers into this problem here. Okay? So you have 4 times 3, which is just 12. 15 minus 12, well that's just a positive 3. And again, we're adding all these numbers together. So now we have to add what we get when we plug in the 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 15 minus 16 is just going to give us negative 1. Now we need to plug in 5 into this problem. We have 5 times 4, which is just 20. And then 15 minus 20, that's just going to give us a negative 5. When we plug in 6, we have 6 times 4, which is 24. 15 minus 24 is negative 9. And then lastly, you have number 8. When you plug that one in, you have 8 times 4. I'm sorry. We actually have to plug in 7. 7 times 4, which is 28. And then 15 minus 28, that's negative 13. And then the last number, number 8, 8 times 4 is 32. And then 15 minus 32 is just going to be negative 17. Okay? Well, now you just have to take all of these numbers that we just figured out and add them all together. Okay? So, again, you can use your handy dandy calculator to help you out here and go 3 plus negative 1 plus negative 5 plus negative 9 plus negative 13 plus negative 17 enter, you're going to get negative 42. Well, again, you can just look here and see that choice G, H, and J can't be correct, so your answer is choice F. Another way that might make this a little bit easier on your calculator is you can literally plug in exactly what you see here into your calculator by pressing alpha, window, or table, and then press number 2, and it's going to give you the exact symbols here that you have in this problem. You're going to have um, your problem that you can use and you can plug into this summation. So again, you have the variable in here, so you can plug in the variable x. And again, you're supposed to start at the number 3, so you can plug in the number 3. Then slide over and put in what your formula is. Well, your formula is just 15 minus 4n. So 15 minus 4x. It's the same thing. We're just changing the variable. Okay? And then we just need to go to the top of our summation and put where we stop. Well, we have to stop at the number 8, and then once you have all that entered in, you can just press enter, and it will give you that same value of negative 42. Okay? I hope this helps. Good luck.